Good morning, YouTube world. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic, uploading this video with Nomad Internet. Link in the video description if you need some mobile internet hotspot stuffs. You might be asking yourself what I am still doing in Livingston, Texas, at my uh, RV park home address here in Livingston. Um, my neighbor over here is using the blower to blow leaves. He, he blows the leaves over there like nine hours a day, every single day, just blows them and then the wind blows them back and he just blow, just constantly just blow her. There's, he'll never shut that thing off during this video, by the way. <sighs> this video, speaking of, I am in a, a, a weird place where I share my traveling life with a lot of people. A lot of people are watching everything happen live. We have talked about the RV repairs that I can't seem to get a handle on and um, I, I'm gonna tell you what's going on because two days ago, I actually had an opportunity to go up to in Arlington, which is a three and a half hour drive from here, but they could get me in the very next morning, yesterday. And I said, absolutely. I unhooked everything, packed up the RV and spent seven hours, more than seven hours on the road yesterday, just getting my, ge my generator looked at. Yeah. Okay, so things they did with my generator. They uh, brought out the fourth new fuel pump. They bench tested it to make sure it had the right PSI. They cleaned the carburetor again. I know, I know what you're thinking. Why do we keep fixing the same things, expecting for a different, what else can we fix, guys? What can, what's new that we can fix on this thing? Because everything's been replaced and rebuilt and it doesn't run. It just shuts off whenever it wants to, you know? I had thought about not releasing the name of the uh, RV repair company. <laughs> All I need to do is smile and laugh hysterically. Oh, but they loved my money, okay. Uh, moving right along, this one is still underway. Did he really just stop the blower? I was in the park here. I was going to do another load of laundry and I saw a mobile RV mechanic truck with their trailer. And I talked to him and I told him, hey man, I've got this uh, leveling system on my RV. A bunch of stuff's been replaced under the hood, but I got two new parts that need to be installed. Do you work on Lippert LCI? He said, absolutely. So he came in yesterday night to work on it a little bit. He's back on his way now because he didn't finish. Never mind. we're back to blowing more leaves over there. Okay, so uh, you guys saw, I got the new battery put in here. We got the new wiring harness that he put in for the leveling system all plugged into the new pump and pressure switch. And a new control board has been installed here, but it still needs to be wired up. So uh, he'll be here, he's got one more job today and then he's gonna be back today to finish this up, wrap it up and... You guys know how I feel. It is getting to the point where, like I keep saying, no matter what, it is impossible to fix anything on this RV. So I am definitely being a pessimist this morning. However, I have willing mechanics that, that have time and they want to work on my RV. So I just, I just keep doing it because it's just so much fun. However, at some point, guys, look at me. I, we all have a certain point where you have to stop. There's nothing else that can be done, right? Once these two new parts go in, I swear, if this RV doesn't level, it's a lemon, guy. It has to be. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. I got the, uh, I got the big 13-foot movie screen out here. The wrinkles are finally going away, by, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. These were much stronger wrinkles before, and now you just can't even see it. Other than that, just nomadic fanatic out here in Texas. I, for the first time in maybe my entire YouTube career, I am delirious. I'm flat out delirious. I am fed up with the repairs. For once, show me one thing on this RV that can get fixed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Everybody else here who goes in for repairs, they always get their stuff repaired. This RV cannot be repaired. We'll see with the leveling system. Nobody likes just sitting around waiting for repairs. It is. You know, it doesn't make for good YouTube content, but I can't just not upload a video for four or five days on my channel, I don't think, or maybe I will. Maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> just delirious. Driving around a $100,000 RV that I still have eight years of payments left to make where nothing works because it's all just dead weight, broken mechanics in it. <laughs> and all I can do is just keep Pain mechanics to fix stuff that doesn't fix ever. <sighs> Are 
Are you kidding me, guys? Are you, are you a part of my life right now? I hope I've I hope I brought you into the level where I'm at, so you know how delirious I am. This is ridiculous, man. Well, just become a day drinker, Eric. <laughs> I, I uh, I'm not using this as a hot tub anymore, guys. With the temper, I mean, 100 degrees outside, who wants to sit in a hot tub that's 100 degrees? I turned the heater off last night, turned it back on and set it to 82. So this is like a, like a heated pool now, and it is actually so much better than it was as a hot tub. Don't get me wrong, there's gonna be times where I'm gonna appreciate the hot tub, but... Right now, the heated pool is a lot better and it's cooling me off and Yep, now I'm just gonna sit here in the hot tub till my mechanic shows up and doesn't fix another thing. It's six o'clock. My mechanic was a no-show, no-call all day. I waited till 5.14 and then I called him. He answered the phone on the second ring and said, oh man, I was just getting ready to call you. I couldn't make it out today. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. Like, I'm checking out of here tomorrow, so I... Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to be there tomorrow morning. Am I living in a twilight zone here? I, is, is this real life? What would you guys do in my situation right now? Considering everything, you know, because most of you know everything about this RV. The inability to, to fix it. It's just, it's just... What would you do in my position? All I want to do is go park this SOB at the house in Illinois and not look at it for months. Th that's... Yeah. Get back to you tomorrow. All right, uh, day three here with uh, this mechanic working back on it. Uh, I am happy to announce that he is at least back on the phone with Lippert talking about some other things. So they answered the phone like in 15 minutes. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can get some uh, good news and find something new to fix on this hydraulic system. and. Uh, uh, I appreciate, again, the mechanic out here. We'll, we'll, we'll actually wait and see, though. Hmm. All right, well, my mechanic buddy's out there looking at some diagrams. Lippert sent him the uh, the diagrams, and nothing worked. I mean, just to, just to be clear, he came back up here, and they walked him through how to reset and calibrate this. And no matter what, you just turn the system on, and it just keeps saying, jacks down, excess angle. But we're not at an excess angle, and no jacks are down. And uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, he's he's going to keep uh, looking at it a little longer here and see what we can come up with. And away he goes. You know, lately, I've, I've been having some fun conversations with some of these mechanics. It's like, hey, you don't know what you're getting into volunteering to uh, try to help me on my RV. Like, you, you, know, you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the day. You're not going to be able to fix anything on this RV. Um... So yeah, got the new parts in and trying to think. Uh, we also tested the uh, pressure switch to make sure that's allowing the pump and motor to run, but he said he's never heard a motor run like that. So it's possible that now, possibly the, the, the pump assembly that I just paid $1,100 for, just the part alone, that doesn't include the pump, the motor itself might actually be bad. There's just no way in knowing. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me because this is kind of the story of my life. Everything brand new is never working anyway. So, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my absolute best. I guess I just have to keep smiling. Otherwise you say I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm literally telling you exactly what's not working on this RV in my life and how all these stupid repairs keep going. So, so we will officially give up. Um, and then possibly later on in life, if I ever get the nerve, pull everything out that we just replaced and uh, possibly replace the entire system. You can emplace everything from the motor to the pump with brand new components and everything for about $1,800. That doesn't help me with the rest of the, all the other problems that are in the same exact boat right now. They've been, every part, everything in them has been replaced and fixed, yet we have nothing working and anyway. Today I got the uh, pool drained and deflated. Gonna pack her on up and I don't know when you guys are gonna hear from me again. Just give me some time and be patient. I, I love you guys. I just, I have this curse, this dark cloud over me and this RV specifically and uh, what are you gonna do?
what are you going to do?